Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create Azure Blueprint. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal and uh, under all services, I'll select for Blueprints. I click on it. Create, apply and track. So what I'll do is I'll click on create a blueprint. I will start with the blank blueprint here. I'll give the blueprint name. I'll do my blueprint. We can leave blueprint description blank for now. And in the definition location, select the ellipses on the right. And then you can select the management group or subscription where you want to save the blueprint and choose select. So I'll do... I only have one subscription. I'll select and now verify that the information is correct. The blueprint name, location, these fields cannot be changed later. Then I will select artifact at the bottom of the page. I'll do this. My blueprint already. I'll change the name to us BP. And now, I will add a role assignment at the subscription level. So, I will click on Add Artifact. The Add Artifact window opens on the right side of the browser. Like this. An artifact type, I will select as uh, Role Assignment. And for Role, I will select the Contributor. And I will leave the Add User and Group blank. And uh, with, the, with this checkbox, that indicates a dynamic parameter. I click on Add. And now I'll add a policy assignment at the subscription level. I'll do Add Artifact. Artifact type would be Policy Assignment. I'll search for built-in. I'll do Tag. Append a tag and it value to the resource group. I'll select add. The window to provide parameters to the artifact as part of the blueprint definition opens. Now, if you select the row here, this window will open. Right? I'm using the dynamic example here. And then uh, this video is using dynamic parameters during blueprint assignment. So I'll leave the default, but uh, we can set the parameters for all assignments based on the, on the blueprint, right? So I'll click on save. I'll click on add artifact. I'm adding a resource group of the subscription level. Artifact type would be the resource group. I'll leave the artifact display name, resource group name and location box is blank. Make sure that the checkbox is checked for each parameter property to make the dynamic parameters. I'll click on add. Now I will add a template under the resource group. I'll click on art artifact. I'll do Azure Resource Manager template. I'll select the name to the storage account. I'll select the parameters. I will leave the description as a blank. And I will get the ARM template. Give me a few seconds. Here's the template. I am just pasting the template here. Now if you see the parameters, it picks up these values and I'll go to template. You will see those values there. 
okay i will go here i'll if you i'll just clear this value you can select in the drop down which you want to add and note that the drop down list containing contains only values that are included in the arm template under the allowed values here okay now i will do this i click on add this artifact is added now our completed blueprint is this now if you see the uh, parameters column notice you will notice that each artifact has x out of y parameters populated now the dynamic parameters are set during each assignment of the blueprint i click on save draft it is saving the blueprint definition done now if i want to edit a blueprint right so you click on this blueprint definitions why is there not should have been there blueprint definition is succeeded Okay, maybe that is why. Okay. These are the blueprint definitions that are already there. I created this one. I click on this. Now, if I want to make changes, I'll click on Edit Blueprint, and I will. I can make the changes in the description because we left that blank. Now, if I do. this blueprint set stack policy now click on next artifacts and under the resource group you will add the role assignment I'll do owner. I'm selecting the role as owner. When I'm leaving this uh, checkbox blank, click on add. Now, if you click on save draft. Use a group or application name. Okay, this is. You can mention the name here. Okay, so that is how you create and edit a blueprint. I hope this was uh, informative to all of you guys. Have a good day.